YouTube page of a I am unwell. This is Lemset. But you need to know my Doctor Strange thoughts. For once, I get to beat a lot of the American YouTubers and just get to tell you how it is, man. I, I watched Doctor Strange last night and I'm going to persevere through this goddamn man flu asthma triggering curse that I'm living through and I just tell you what it was like because it, it warrants talking about. So, Doctor Strange is one of the more obscure uh, Marvel titles. He's a Marvel mainstay, but he doesn't really have... He doesn't usually have his own series. He's the guy that Spider-Man will go to if people have been turned into zombies all of a sudden. You know, it's just... He's like, oh shit, we've got magic problem. Let's call Doctor Strange. Now he's got his own Marvel movie. That's fine. And he's playing, being played by fucking Cumberbatch, who's legit, man. Um... It's about a spur this rock star surgeon. He's kind of like House in the beginning. He's arrogant. He knows everything. He's a pompous asshole, but he's got the talents to boot. So he just he he does as he pleases. He's a surgeon. He's on his, driving up to this surgical conference. He's checking his emails from his assistant, and then his car crashes. And in that car crash, he loses the use of well, not his. He loses the use of his hands effectively. They're shaking. They're all swollen. He can't, you, you know, they're not fit for surgery anymore. He cannot be a surgeon. He invests every cent he's got in trying to repair his hands through as many bizarre, expensive, different programs and processes as, possi as he possibly can, all to naught, until he hears about this one guy who eventually did walk again, not through physiotherapy, but through... A little place called oh, what do you call? Ah, I forgot the name of it. Anyway, it's in Kathmandu. <laughs> it's in Kathmandu, India. I'm got a Kamrataj. That, that's it. Damn it. Yeah, a little place called Kamrataj in Kathmandu, India, or N Nepal, I should say. Sorry. <clears throat> and he goes there, and he discovers the ancient one, and effectively they introduce him to magic, and it's a good job they do because there is the there are these um, enemies that are rising up to to, to send Earth. Well, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to get into the bad guy's role in this. It's kind of spoilerish, so I'm not going to do it. Go into that. I will say this. Cumberba Cumberbatch's American accent is fine, and you see past it. The actual origin of, Doc of Doctor Strange, um, pre-learning about magic, is quite quick, I, th I thought. But here's the thing. Cumberbatch is so competent in this role that he only needs to be pre-magic Stephen Strange for about five minutes before you're like, oh, we get it. He's good. He's a, he's a good surgeon. He sells it. You buy it. You move on. Um, this is Marvel's, one of their best cast films. Um, you've got you've got Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One. You've got Chiwetel Ejiofor as Mordo. Not Baron. Mordo. Um, it's, uh, let, me, let me see. Rachel McAdams is in it sometimes. She's not. She's in it quite fleetingly. She's not the stereotypical. Oh, I'm the love interest. I'm the damsel in distress. It's not that at all. She is involved in one of my favorite film or favorite scenes in the film, I should say, involving a fight on the astral plane. Say no more. Uh, but the thing you're gonna walk away from from this movie, and that's it's not something you should be surprised at, but it surprised me. Is how funny this movie is. Uh, you know, I know that the guy Scott Derrickson does a lot of horror films. I know that they went to the creators of uh, Rick and Morty to go, uh, just to just to consult on these bizarre sci-fi concepts and see how they can make them just broadly entertaining. And it's delivered. Um, they explain it. Uh, one of the things I liked about this, the approach they take to it is, you know, in Thor they they made Thor. Oh, he's an alien, and that was kind of disappointing. Thor is not an alien. Thor is a Norse god. There's, he's just a Norse god. That's that's what he is. In this, they're like, oh, we draw from other dimensions to craft weapons, shields, energy. We use that. We draw that, and that effectively is magic. Um, so yeah, th th there's an explanation for magic. I've seen that in, in sci-fi and fantasy before, but it's it's just out and out magic. It's cool. He, it's it's more creative than just people. You know, Harry Potter, where it's just different colored lasers shooting out of people's wands. Uh, and you know lightning bolts and so on. It's 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 a lot more fluid. It's a lot more imaginative. There is one sequence in particular. Oh my God! It has to be seen in three D. It's just bizarre. 
it's a real trip, man. People have, have asked, you know, should we, should you do drugs before watching Doctor Strange? Do not. If you do, that's your own business. But I would advise not to because you will trip balls. You will spin right into the other room, man. It's, it's not worth it. I will say, though, and this is completely spoiler-free. If you want me to do a spoiler vid down the line, I will, certainly. But it's a well-acted, well, really, really quickly-paced, funny, bizarre Marvel movie that ends really... And it ends in a really satisfactory way. The third act just had me amazed and laughing, but it's it, it, it's perfect. It works perfect with everything that's been built up. There's a running running theme because this guy's an asshole and he stops being an asshole. And I can't I'm not it, it's I can't talk about it for spoilers, but it's just so good. Go and watch Doctor Strange. Those are my thoughts. If you like this vid, please click like, subscribe, view, share, and all the usual jazz. And um, wish me well. I need it.